Okay, welcome. Um, yeah, so my name is Silas. Um, I'm one of the longest standing sales rep here. Um, so I thought I'd take a bit of time to kind of hopefully save you a bit of time so you, I can kind of tell you a little bit more about what we do and, and what type of realtors this, this is a good fit for. Um, and then you'll be able to see pretty early on if, if this is something that you want to learn more about or something that you want to do or something that you can see growing your business in your area. Um, cause this really isn't for everyone. I mean, we're not a, a lead generation company, um, and we're not <laughs> selling park benches. So we're more so working with agents who are community minded, who just want to get out there, build more relationships and kind of do more business closer to their area of focus. So in a nutshell, the way we go about it is, is we'd take an area that you focus in, we'd build you a really nice content rich neighborhood website. Okay. So it's something that we keep up to date every single day with all of the local news, the local events, all of that good community information that people search for. So it, it gives you a nice presence online, but it's something that you don't have to spend all day sitting in front of your computer to achieve. We happen to believe that your time is, is much better served out face to face with people building relationships. So what we really do is we just teach you how to use the website so you can get more face to face meetings. Um, and I'm going to show you a lot more how that works throughout the presentation. Okay, so firstly, I'd like to give you a quick preface into how we started as a company. Um, so our founder, Amanda, um, one of the co-founders, she used to be a realtor herself. And the reason that she built this is because she looked at where she spent all of her marketing budget. And, and she realized, like probably some of you will, that the, the majority of your budget goes on leads and print marketing. But in Amanda's case, probably only 20% of her business came from leads and, and 70 or 80% came from relationships and referrals. So she just simply thought, well, well, why can't I spend more money on building relationships? So that's why she built this for herself and it worked really well for her and, and other realtors started asking for it. Um, and you can see it's from there that we've, we've expanded all across North America. So all of these little marks you will see is, is where we have realtors using us across the states. So it is based on something that was working for a realtor and now is working for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of others. Okay. Um, so before I get in and, and show you what this all looks like and how it works and why it works, I like to talk about pricing. So it's, it's not a cloud hanging over the conversation. Um, so our pricing is based on a combination of two things, which is population and median house price. Um, so I'll just move you over to our pricing chart here. Um, so as you can see, we have different pricing charts catered for all different home values. Um, so let's say, for example, you had a zip code that had a population of 40,000 people and the average house price was 200,000 to 250,000. So you'd be on this pricing tier. Um, so 40,000 people, you'd be looking at 4350 for the year. OK, and generally our sites will range that the average one that we sell will probably be around 4,500 to around 6,000. OK, we try and make it so you get one deal out of this thing and it's, and it's easily paid for what we do. Um, but we really want to show you how you can get 10 times the value on that. OK, um, a couple of things we do with the pricing is we know this works. We've done it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So if you do come on board with us and you follow the system and you do these interviews, if you don't get any clients out of it, then we will just give you all of your money back at the end of the year anyway. Um, the pricing is also grandfathered. So we're moving in a really great direction as a company and, and our product just keeps getting better and better and better. Um, we've got an app coming out later on in the year. Um, so we're always trying to add value to it so we can charge more and more for it. But your pricing is grandfathered. So whatever you pay with us in year one, it doesn't matter if it's three years down the road and others are paying 10 times that amount. You're always going to get the same value as them, but you're just not going to have to pay more and more for each year. Um, and the last thing that we offer is, is two parts, really. Um, is first, it is exclusivity. So Amanda's experience as a realtor. She was pretty fed up of, of signing up with companies and being promised the world and getting it, but being on the side of the page with four million other agents. So it is very important to us that we only do this with one realtor in each area. Um, but the thing that's most important to us is our after sales service. So again, with Amanda, she signed up with a lot of companies and, and was promised the world and then really got the feeling that as soon as they took her money, they really didn't care about her until next year when they were like, okay, time for some more money. 
Um, that's not the case with us. When you come on board with us, you're going to get your own dedicated account manager and coach. So first port of call is they're going to call you up. They're going to set goals with you. They're going to help you book appointments. And then they're really going to work closely with you throughout the whole course of the year on, on calendar control and time blocking and planning a strategy to, to help you reach this potential. Um, and again, it's, it's for holding you accountable and keeping you motivated as well, because we understand that this isn't something that you're used to doing. So you need someone down the end of the line helping you book appointments and saying, hey, come on, get out and do this, meet more people. And we're going to be there to do that with you. Um, so look, I, I know I've been talking a lot, um, but if if you don't want to get out there and, and build relationships and you do prefer leads, then this might not be a good thing for you. Um, and again, if, if 45 to five, 6,000 isn't something that you can invest in your business, um, then again, I wouldn't continue listening because you're probably just going to see what we, we, we do, love it, and then just be disappointed that you can't do it. But for those realtors that do have five, six grand to invest in their business and, and they know that their strong point is getting in front of people and, and building relationships. And, and if we can get you in front of a, a lot of people, that's going to help you grow your business. Um, then stay tuned and, and now I'll, uh, I'll get in and, and show you exactly how it all works and, and how we're going to take you to that next level. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of our realtors that's been with us for about 10 or 11 months. Um, so this is Craig Smith. So as you can see, it's just him on the side of the page. There's no other paid adverts or pop-ups or anything like that. Just Craig. Um, this is what you'd have for your area. So the first page is kind of a summary page. So you'll have parkbench.com forward slash your area. Um, scrolling down, just a couple of nice pictures of the area. Um, when a business has added any local deals, they're going to go up here. Um, then we have a summary of all of the recent news articles and any of events that are coming up for your area. Um, then we have any of the top news articles that, uh, and, the, and the interviews that have gone on lately. Um, so that's just a nice little summary page and then we break all of those tabs down in more detail. So you have the news tab. So, so when we're building these websites, we will look at the Chamber of Commerce, we'll look at local libraries, local schools, uh, anyone that's providing content in the area, our researchers are going to find them and add them to your site. So you're safe in the knowledge that you have the most up-to-date, content-rich neighborhood website out there, but without having to lift a finger to keep it updated. Um, same with the events, we sync in with Meetup and Eventbrite. So we're constantly adding any events that are coming up for your area to the site. Um, the sites are fully interactive, so if you want to add a, your own event or an open house or something that's coming up in the area, all you need to do is click add an event, put all the information in, press add an event, and it will go live to the site. Okay. Um, now look, when a local business does sign up or if someone claims a deal or writes a review, they're essentially going to become a subscriber to the site. So as a side bonus, we'll also send you out a nice little email newsletter on your behalf once a week, which will look like this. So this will have your area up at the top. When you've conducted an interview, it's going to go here. Um, when there's any events that are coming up for the week, it's going to go here. Any of the top news articles for your area will go here. Any local deals will go here. And then your advert's going to be down at the bottom there. So it's just a nice little touch point that you have weekly with people in the community. Um, the emails themselves have a really good open rate because it's, it's kind of nice being like, oh, what is coming up for the week? Um, and then again, when someone clicks on that, then it's just going to take them straight back to you and your brand. Um, but look, as I said, everything I've shown you so far, we're doing. We genuinely believe that your time is much better served out face to face with people building relationships. So what your account manager is really going to do is they're going to teach you how to use the website so you can get more face-to-face -face meetings. Um, so say, for example, you wanted to connect more with some of the local business owners. You can now reach out to them and say, hey there, I am the brand new sponsor for this neighborhood website. One of the initiatives is to get to know some of the locals and to help their businesses grow. So I would love to pop in for 10 minutes, do a quick interview with you, and then feature you on the website. So at that point, they're like, oh, wow, yeah, I'd love to be featured. When can we do this? And then that's when you've just generated a nice 10 minutes face to face with someone who's local. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great because you're not going in there asking for something. You're going in there with something of value for them. So it's a lot easier to win their time 
And then, yeah, when it comes to their real estate needs or a referral, you're the one that they're going to think of because you're the one who's just gone in there and, and taken time to get to know their story and then given them free advertising rather than someone who's just kind of gone in and dropped off a business card or they've seen on a poster somewhere. Um, so what I'll show you now is, is one of our realtors getting out there and, and just connecting and building relationships with people in his community. Um, so the page that would have loaded now is the pictures of our local realtor for his area and some of the people that are in his, his area as well. So scrolling down, these are all of the people that he's gone out and built a relationship since he's been with us. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can go on and on about different clients and referrals, but I'm sure you can imagine from getting out there, building relationships and getting to know people in the community like this and adding value, it will soon lead to that as long as you have faith in your ability to, to thrive in front of people face to face. But the great thing about this is, I mean, even if you've lived in the area your whole lifetime, this helps our realtors get to know all of these funny little stories that are hidden behind these doors of people that have also lived there for generations and generations. Um, and I mean, Zillow have, have just conducted a study and they found the number one consideration people have now when selecting a realtor is market knowledge. So if you're the person that's gone out and done this with all of these different people in the community, then it, for sure it shows that you have a great understanding of the area, you care about that particular place, um, and, and you are connected. And this is all about helping you build your database and helping you build your sphere of influence. And the harder you can hustle now and the harder you can work now, it's just gonna be easier and easier and easier for you further down the line because you're gonna have such a big database. Um, now, in terms of what these interviews look like, you can either do a text or a video, whatever you're more comfortable with. So Craig has mainly done text. And it's just stuff like describe your business. You put some pictures in there. What made you decide to open the business? What was it like when you first started? So they look great, but they're really, really easy to upload. And I'll show you that in a moment. Um, if you did want to do a video, they easily in implement. Um, so look, this is one of our realtors. She's done mainly text. But then she's also done a nice little video of him doing a walk around of his studio. Um, we have someone like um, Tim Anderson, who he's, he's got himself a selfie stick and he does a little three minute video. Um, he was obviously at this home inspection anyway. So he took the guy and said, hey, do you have three minutes? I'll do a quick video with you. So it is something that you can easily implement into your everyday life. Um, and then we also have realtors, which again, take it a step further. Um, and she has the microphone and, and all of the, the tools that she needs to do more of a, a professional looking video. Um, but again, it's just like two or three minutes, get in there. It's a nice inintrusive way to start that relationship with them. However, I mean, the great thing about this is the social media integration. So, I mean, I know you don't have that much time to tweet and Facebook and LinkedIn. Your time is better served out face to face with people. So we synchronize the sites with Twitter. So every time something's posted on your Park Bench page, we're automatically gonna tweet it for you with all of those relevant local hashtags, whether it's school stuff or Chamber of Commerce stuff or sports stuff, constantly tweeting on your behalf. Again, if anyone clicks on that, it's just gonna drive them straight back to you and your brand. But the, the real important metric is with Facebook, because there's, there's one thing posting to your own database all the time, which is something that you should be doing. You should have a Facebook page and you should be active on it. But the great thing about this is you'll find, as you can imagine, when you've done an interview with someone and given them something that they can use for free to promote their business, they're gonna start talking about it on their social media. So, I mean, I touched upon these account managers that you have, but one of their jobs is to really identify the, the key people in social media in your place, in your area, in your zip code. like. With this lady, for example, we found out that, and Craig found out that she had 12,000 people that follow her on Facebook. So if you do an interview with her and she shares something, then then that's gonna get you in front of a whole new range of people. So Craig interviewed this lady. She posted this on Facebook, not him. Thanks Craig for your time and especially your passion to see High River grow well into the future. You can see it's been liked 164 times. It's had 14 comments and it's been shared 26 times. So for this one interview alone, he had over 20 hours of exposure on Facebook. Some more examples for just Craig's area. Um, this is another person that posted, 
just finished my interview with Craig on the Parkbench website. If you haven't been interviewed, let me know. I'll put you in touch. This is a great website to promote the town and the wonderful things happening here. Again, check out our interview with Craig on the Parkbench website. Also take some time to browse through this awesome site, highlighting so much of what High River has to offer. Again, 78 likes, five comments, 21 shares. And they're all doing two things. They're thanking Craig, but most importantly, they're saying the website's awesome, which is something that they wouldn't be as inclined to do if it was just a Remax page or a Facebook page. But because it's this community resource, they're much more likely to put their brand behind it. Um, more examples like, thank you, Craig, for the opportunity to be part of your Park Branch project. Um, thank you, Craig Smith, for doing this article of my little studio. Again, 71 likes, four comments, four shares. All of the, the comments are like, I adore you, great article, congratulations, very proud of you, just because Craig's interviewed her. Um, again, much thanks to Craig for his work with the Park Bench Initiative. So they really do see this as a great piece of value that you're offering out there. Um, and this just goes on and on and on, like Craig's trying to promote the town of High River in a positive light. So it's, it's almost like he's going mini viral in the area because everyone is connected to these local businesses and these local pitch people. And just again and again and again, pictures of Craig are appearing and, and local people saying how great he is and what a great resource this is for the community. And the extra reason that they're promoting this is because it also is a place that they can use for free, as you can see here, to put their deals up and get reviewed. So what an amazing resource Park Bench is for our community. Check out the interview, leave a review for 15% off your next tan. Um, and again, like leave me a review on parkbench.com and you'll get a free 30 minute pet care visit. Thanks again to Craig Smith. So I'll talk to you a bit more about that, that deal section. Um, so the deals tab here. So look, this is a free place for local businesses to promote discounts to new customers, post rewards for reviews, display their daily specials. This is all free to the business owners because of the local real estate sponsor. So you've got in-store sales, you've got top deals for new customers, you've got top rewards for reviews. So if I click on one of these business profiles, so Jungle Out Their Pet Services here. So again, this isn't something that you don't need to lift a finger to keep updated. The local business is gonna have their own username and password to your Parkbench platform. So they log in, they put their company information up. If you've done an interview with them, it will go here. Um, if not, they put their coupons up which again is something that they usually get charged for and now something that you can offer them for free. Um, and yeah, they can put their social media up on the side of the page as well. Um, and a nice section that they can get reviewed, which again is something that they usually get charged for. So you really are coming in there with an item of value for them, much more so than dropping off like a calendar with 12 pictures of your dog or whatever. Um, you're coming in with, a, you're solving a problem for them. Um, and the great thing about this, I mean, if I Google Jungle Out Their Pet Services, which is what people often do when they're looking for a local business. Now, and it's another reason why it's great coming under our umbrella is because we post so many hundreds of thousands of pages to Google and we have so many reviews out there, Google recognizes us as a review provider. So reviews from the web, Park, Bench, Facebook, and Google. Okay, we're second result down from the top. I mean, even if I'm just looking for pet services in High River, you can see that we're second result down. So when someone clicks on that, then it's just gonna take them straight back to you and your brand. Um, but importantly as well, it's giving the business more exposure as well. So it's kind of helping you and it's helping them. Um, so everyone's a winner. Um, so um, in, in terms of how you implement the kind of real estate tab, so I mean, we think it's important that you do have your exposure on every single page. But we find it is important that it's more so branded as a neighborhood website rather than like a full blown real estate page. Because to be honest, people don't really go to a real estate page to just kind of hang out and check the news and see what's going on in the community. So you've got your exposure. Um, you have your real estate tab up at the top. So on this section, you have contact me. You have all of your about you information. You can put a video up, any of your awards or testimonials. It's also a place where people can leave you a review which again is gonna help with your SEO and your exposure online. Um, if you have an IDX page on your main website, when someone clicks search listings, then we're just gonna pull directly from there. Okay, and then again, if someone clicks on one of these listings, 
then it's going to take them straight back to your primary web so website and your main real estate tab. So it, it backlinks everything and it gives you that good exposure and it's a nice way to ease people into it. Um, and all of the information is, of course, shared on the Park Bench page. Um, along with that, you ha have market report, like find out when homes sell in your neighborhood and for how much, or find out when home when your neighbor's homes go up for sale. So again, if someone clicks on that, then it, they'll put their information in and that's just going to get filtered straight back to you. Okay. Um, so I know there's been quite a, a lot of information overload at the moment. Um, but, but one thing you need to take into account is, is everything I've shown you, the news, the events, the newsletter, the business listings, the real estate side of that, we're, we're keeping all of that up to date. The only thing you really need to do is, is get out there and build relationships and do the interviews. And, and in terms of how easy it is for you to, to do these interviews, so you're going to have an interview, uh, a login area like this. You're simply just going to click on your name, click on control panel, and here's your back end. So if a lead does come in, that's going to go here. Um, when you want to synchronize the sites with Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, all you're going to need to do is just connect the account, connect the account, connect the account, and then we're going to set that up and you can do the auto posting. Um, and again, as I touched upon at the start, you have your account manager. So this is something that they're gonna go in full detail with. They're gonna go through a, a walkthrough on the site and tell you exactly how to use everything, where to post stuff, when to post it, and what the best way to implement that is. Um, but just to kind of scratch the service and, and quickly show you how easy it is. When it comes down to those in interviews, don't worry, you're not gonna have to think of all of the questions yourself. We have all of the different questions. So I know I've talked about business owners a lot, but it, it doesn't just have to be a business owner. Uh, one of my clients that I signed up recently. So what they're going to do is they're going to do an interview with everyone they sell a house to. So whether it's a couple or a family or a single person, we have different questions depending on who it is. And I actually think interviewing someone that you've sold a house to is a great idea because obviously buying a house is one of the proudest things that you can do. So if you do an interview with them, the Jones family, welcome to the neighborhood. They're going to share that on their social media. And that in turn is going to get in front of a lot of people. Um, another one of my clients who signed up recently, is they found out that there was a new principal coming to town and they're going to do an interview with them. Mr. Barnes, welcome to the neighborhood. Again, that's something that the parents are interested to find out about. And that picture of you standing there welcoming the principal to the neighborhood really positions you as a leader for the area. So different questions depending on who it is. Um, say it was a business owner, for example, you're just going to simply click here. And here are all of the questions. Describe your business. So you type in the answer. Okay. If you want to add a question, you just click there, add the question and the answer. If you don't answer a question, it just won't appear on the finished thing. If you wanted to add a picture in, you just choose the file. Um, if you did want to add a, a, a video in, then you just upload it to YouTube, put the YouTube in, link in there. And then all you need to do is press post interview and it will go live to the site. So essentially everything I've shown you, we're doing the news, the events, the, the social media integration, the newsletter, the business listings, the real estate tab. This is the only button that you need to worry about. So it's so easy to use. Um, you have your account manager who's going to help you through every step of the way. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Usually by now, realtors have seen enough to know if this is going to be a good fit for them. Um, if you can see yourself out there building relationships, interviewing people and really ingraining yourself in the community and getting business from this, then it's going to work for you. Um, so look, you have all the information below. Um, it is something that we only do with one realtor in each area. And, and we are we do have a lot of Facebook adverts out there. So submit, see if your area is available. If it is, then we can really look into the pricing and, and let you know how much it would be. Um, also go away, start thinking about who you want to interview, who you want to connect with, and who you want to start building those relationships with, because your account manager is going to help you book those first appointments and teach you how to do it. Um, and yeah, as soon as you sign up with us, we will have this site ready for you in the next 72 hours. So it doesn't take a long time. We want to get you out there building relationships as soon as possible. Um, I really appreciate your time. If you're still with me, if, if like I say, if, 
if you are a relationship and referral based realtors and the pricing works for you and you can see yourself out there building relationships and you want to grow your business year, this year i imagine that you still would, will be with me because this is something that's different and it does work and if you're the type of realtor that just wants leads and and doesn't want to get out and build any relationships and, and can't afford that price then what are you doing still on the the webinar you need to be spending your time more efficiently um but yeah thank you for your time and hopefully i will hear from you soon all the best and uh, welcome on board hopefully